Hi everyone and welcome to the Clinical Conundrums case series. Uh, this is Hisham Ibrahim. I'm one of the emergency medicine consultants in the United Kingdom. And uh, today we're going to discuss our first case in this new series that I'm going to be publishing on our YouTube channel. So in this series, we'll be discussing cases that are less commonly seen in emergency department compared to other presentations, but they are seen probably more often than we might think. And the main reason for me to discuss this is to reinforce that golden rule that we're going to be talking about in every single case. The general rule is you'll never see what you don't know. So you need to know things first to be able to see them. And hopefully from now on, you're going to start seeing more stuff that you haven't seen before. So let's start with our first case. And this time we're going to be talking about a limping child that I've seen about seven, eight years ago. Um, so let's see what happened with this one. So our child was a four year old boy who presented to ED with limping and pain in the left foot of two days duration. His mother denied any history of trauma at all or any falls. And uh, on examination, there was just mild tenderness and swelling at the back of the left foot. His vital signs were all normal. His temperature was absolutely fine and no reported fever at any point of time. So an X-ray has been requested for the affected foot. And here is the X-ray. So again, if you would like to pause the video now, have a detailed look at this X-ray trying to answer the question of what is going on here? What is your diagnosis? Okay, let's talk about this X-ray then. So if we uh, if we look at this X-ray, uh, then what we can uh, see here is starting from bone identification. So this is our talus bone, and this is the calcaneum bone. Again, so talus, calcaneum, and uh, what we can see here. So this is the area that was tender clinically. So this area of the mid foot. And looking at this area, I think we can all notice now that something is not quite right here. So here's the other view and here's the third view. Something is not quite there, not, not quite right there. And um, I guess many of you are thinking about the answer now, which is, Kohler's disease. So let's talk about this condition now. So in terms of the definition, the pathogenesis of Kohler's disease, this is a relatively rare pediatric bone disorder. Its prevalence in the general population is about 2%. But to be honest, if you think about 2%, this is a lot when it comes to the general population prevalence. It is an avascular necrosis of the navicular bone. Uh, and it is of unknown etiology. First reported by um, a German radiologist uh, named Alban Kohler in 1908, and it is one of the crushing osteochondritis. So the usual presentation for this is a, uh, a boy. So it's uh, more in boys as five to one compared to females. Uh, and the usual age of presentation is from three to seven years old. The presentation is usually a painful limb uh, with tenderness over the affected navicular bone. And usually it is one uh, foot that is affected, but it can be a bilateral condition in about 25% of cases. And it may be preceded by a minor trauma or absolutely no trauma at all. What to do with these cases? Well, an X-ray is more than enough. And the X-ray is going to show you this. So it's going to show you a sclerotic, fragmented, and um, hyperdense, smaller than normal, irregular navicular bone, as we can see here. So here's the X-ray. And we can see here that this is what a normal navicular bone should look like. And this one is the affected one. So smaller, hyperdense, more sclerotic and slightly irregular compared to the normal one. So this is the X-ray of a Kohler's disease case. How to treat this? Well, an easy treatment. 
So basically treatment is mainly treating the pain with wrist and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And if the pain is uncontrolled with this, then you might consider a below knee plaster of Paris and um, just orthopedics follow up. And the prognosis here is excellent. And usually a spontaneous full recovery is gonna happen within few months, about three months is, um, is more than enough. So actually there is an excellent resolution um, is reported for this case. And uh, one final fun thing about um, Cora's disease, which is this. So this is King Toots, and interestingly, on analyzing his mummy, he was found to have Cora's disease, which is a really interesting uh, piece of information about this condition. So I'm going to put some links for further readings in the show notes of this video, and I'll be really interested to hear your thoughts about this new series. So thank you very much for listening to this, and I will talk to you very soon with another clinical conundrum. See you later and stay safe.